Welcome to Design Coach with Rep Sketch. My name is Bella and in this video, I will show you how to trace a photo of a garment and create a vector sketch. We'll start with creating a new blank sketch by clicking here and drop the image on our canvas that we are going to trace. In this example, I'll be tracing this hoodie I found on the internet. So first thing first, I'm going to search for a similar looking hoodie sketch that I can repurpose to expedite the process. RepSketch provides this extensive library of vector-ready design sketches contributed by industry professionals that can be reused as templates. So here are some design components available to me like types of necklines, pockets, and sleeves that can be used to build my design. But instead I'm going to search if there's a full hoodie design sketch available that I can repurpose. Great! Seems there are plenty of options available here so I'll use this one as it's closest to my design and drag it into my canvas. So looking at them side by side, they do look very similar. Except these minor differences like the color of the hoodie of course and this front pocket and the rib band attached at the bottom hem. So let's get started with tracing this pocket first and for that I'll head over the side menu and select this create and edit path option. Now let's zoom into our photo and start adding nodes along the outline of the pocket to create a vector object. Once we have our object ready, now we'll further finish it to make it look similar to the pocket in the background. I'll first reduce the opacity of this red fill to be able to see through the background. Also, use this stroke settings option and reduce the stroke width. Now as you can see these pocket outlines are a bit too straight so in order to curve them I would have to adjust our object path. For that I will double click on our object which will expose our vector path along with those nodes we added earlier. To curve a path, simply double click on any node and that should activate these control handles that we can use to curve out our pocket outlines. I'll go ahead and finish the rest accordingly. Great. Seems to me we have a pretty good sketch of our front pocket here. I'll quickly color it to match our photo in the background from this color fill tool here. So we have our pocket ready so I'll head over and drag it over on the other sketch. Now we need to add this rib band at the bottom. So first I will remove these stitch lines at the bottom hem that we don't need. To do that first I'll ungroup the entire set of vector objects by selecting the hoodie sketch and click on this ungroup option at the bottom. As you can see all the object have now separated out so I'll go ahead and select these couple of stitch lines and delete them. Okay, so let's quickly add the band at the bottom with that same path tool from the side menu. Here we have it, now I'll go ahead also replace the fill color of other existing objects to match with this one. This looks great, at last I'll give some final touches by adding these stitch details around the pocket, adjust sleeve color, and these stroke settings as well. So, here we have it. We successfully designed our hoodie sketch by tracing over this photo and using an existing rep sketch vector design. How about you go ahead and try creating one for yourself too? 